Ohio Gazimus, Konnichiwa, Konbawa. Depending on when you're watching this video, this is good morning, good afternoon, and good evening in Japanese. This video is about some big changes that have happened. A lot has happened in the last couple of months, and I'm going to share with you what's happening and what I'm thinking going forward so that I can continue to share my journey in stained glass and continue to help others discover, learn, and create stained glass artwork. With that, let's get into it. sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hey everyone, Steve here. And on this channel, I hope to inspire others to discover the beauty of stained glass, learn tips, tricks, and techniques so that you can create your own stained glass artwork. I'm in the studio and unfortunately, this will be the last time I'll be using this studio for my content. I received an amazing opportunity with my full-time job in Japan. So I move into Japan. This happened pretty quickly and I'll be making this move in June. And of course, it would happen just as I finished the renovation of my studio. I'm still creating the content from the renovation, but I'm still going to share it with you even though I will not be in this studio anymore. Unfortunately, I won't be able to enjoy the hard work I put into this renovation. No! But I'm really excited about the opportunity to live in Japan for the next three to five years. Now with a move like this does come some challenges. I need to sort through everything in the studio and decide what I'm going to take with me and what I'm willing to part with. I am packing up things now. I'll be taking most of the studio with me except for the new workbenches I just built and the larger pieces of furniture like the armoire that I use for my glass storage and the old hutch that I use as a grinding station before I built the workbenches. I anticipate I will have a smaller space to use as my studio, as everything is smaller and space is limited in most Japanese homes. And if you're like me, when you see a piece of glass you like, you'll buy it in, it, in the hopes that someday you will make something with it, or you buy additional glass just because it's on sale. So over time, you accumulate all this glass. And when you make a move like this, you have to sort through it and decide what glass you're going to keep and what you're going to take with you. So I have chosen the glass that I'm taking with me and I've already packed it all up, but I will be getting rid of some of the stained glass pieces that I have and the scrap that I have accumulated over time. If you are interested in any of these scrap pieces or what's in the scrap bins and you're willing to pay for the shipping, be sure to reach out to me via email or through Instagram, Facebook Messenger, we can work things out via this way. I will leave a link below on the things that are available and what the approximate shipping cost might be. I'm really looking to get rid of this stuff all at one time. So what does this mean for content on this channel? Well, I'm planning on sharing my experiences in Japan and anything that I come across in stained glass artworks. I'm thinking of taking some classes from a Japanese master artisan in stained glass and sharing this experience with you with their permission. I will also be visiting some of the stained glass museums they have there to include the popular stained glass staircase at the Hakone Open Air Museum in Kanagawa Prefecture in Japan. A lot of you may have seen pictures of this staircase on social media. I plan to visit and experience this place as it's only going to be two hours away from where I'm going to be at in Japan. I am very excited about the opportunities I'm going to have there and the places I'm going to be able to visit. I will continue to create artworks as I think a lot of it will be inspired from all the traveling that I'll be doing while I'm there in Japan. I will also be learning more on developing good patterns and I will share this learning with you and I will make these patterns available on the Score Art Glass website. I am going through an update on the website and hope this site will become your go-to place for stained glass artwork, supplies, and as well as other art supplies and gear. 
Now these supplies will be affiliate links, but it'll be a way that you can get the supplies for your artwork. It won't cost you any more to use these links, but it's just another way to support the channel. And if you aren't finding what you're looking for on the site, be sure to drop me a message and I'll attempt to locate it and get it listed on the site for you. I do wanna say thank you to all those who have used the links in the previous videos. And I do wanna give a shout out to Amber who recently bought me a coffee on the buy me a coffee link. Thank you very much, I greatly appreciate it. And this will help go towards my goal of buying the ultimate Cutters Mate system. I hope you'll continue to support the channel with these links and I'll leave a link to the Score Art Glass website and the buy me a coffee link below. So now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the piece that's over my right shoulder. For those that have been following the channel know there has been a stained glass artworks that has been uncompleted in the studio for the last two years, the Mount Fuji piece. You have seen the slow progress of this piece through the stained glass lives and videos. I have been thinking lately since given this opportunity to move to Japan that maybe this piece has taken a back seat for a reason. You know, things sometimes happen for a reason without you realizing it. I think it's fitting that I haven't finished this piece yet and I'm gonna be able to take it with me. I will be living only three hours away from Mount Fuji and think it will be extra special for me to finish this piece here so close to that majestic mountain. I will have more to come on this one in the future. Finally, if you have any suggestions on content you would like to see while I'm in Japan, be sure to leave that in the comment section below. I'm excited about this new opportunity and hope you'll join me on this journey. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I load new content. Be sure to like the videos as it really does help the channel out and share this channel with others that may like this type of content. With that, sayonara, matane, meaning goodbye. See you next time. Now stay tuned for the next video coming up on your screen.